friend of mine shared with me about a baptism that took place in his church, and he asked me the question, why is it that you get dunked three times? And I asked him what he meant by that, and for their church, what they choose to do is they choose to baptize in the name of the Father, forward, in the name of the Son, backward, and then in the name of the Holy Spirit, forward, once again. I'm not sure why they choose to do that. It's something that they choose to do, and I don't know why they split the Trinity up that way, but once again, that is the way that they have interpreted baptism. But how is it that we should interpret baptism? There are multiple times that you can read in the book of Acts about people getting baptized. But the bottom line is, is that it is an outward expression of an inward change. It's the easiest way to remember it. So when people choose to be baptized, they'll invite their family, they'll invite their friends, they'll invite people that they are close to to be a part of this because they're saying, hey, I'm on Jesus' side and I want everyone to know. So I'm going to be washed today, I'm going to be immersed today, and when I come out, you're going to see publicly that I am on the Lord's side. There are actually people in the Bible that were baptized by John the Baptist, and they came to them and said, guess what? You need to be baptized in the name of Jesus' sake. And basically what they were doing when they chose to be baptized again was to show that they were on Jesus' side, that they were with Jesus, that they were part of Jesus' ministry, and that they felt Jesus' love. There was something that had taken place on the inside, and they wanted everybody to know on the outside. And that is the outward expression of the inward choice. And that is why we're baptized in the name of Jesus.